so my last solo base had some mistakes. The first mistake was this roof can be splashed through this wall. It can be splashed in both spots that the roof sticks out through. So the original idea of this base was that they would have to go through this stone wall and then the HQM, which makes it 19 rockets, and then through the garage door making it 22 rockets. This was close to 23 rockets through the sheet metal and HQM walls on the back, so I was happy with this. Until people pointed out that you could splash the roof through the wall like this. This meant you can actually save 4 rockets right off the start, and it would look like this instead. I expected 4 rockets to break the two front walls, but not with damage on the HQM roof already. This leads into the second mistake. This garage door can actually be splashed through the roof. This would save 3 more rockets which would make the new total 15. Before this last wipe I did test both of these mistakes and I was unable to splash this garage door through that roof and also was never able to splash the roof through the first wall. Now I don't know if something was changed with this last update, but I'm sorry I missed it. I also want to thank all of the people that pointed this out. So here we are at the TC, much cheaper than I thought possible. The only question left is how do we fix this? There are three fixes we need here. I'll do them in order of the steps the base is built in in the original build video. The first thing is this garage door. In the build video, before you place all of these things in here, the garage door would go in. You want the garage door to face away from the roof this time, like this. You can then fit everything back in just the same. With the garage door facing this way, it will stick out through the other walls. This is fine though because to get into the TC room this way, it would be one sheet metal wall and one HQM wall, or two stone and one HQM. Both 23 rockets, which is the raid cost I was going for on this base anyway. To stop the roof splashing, we're going to have to add a couple of honeycombs out here. First a triangle on here, and then a square over here. You'll want to bring them both up one full level. The bottom part of the roof that sticks out is covered immediately. And it's great we can actually do this while the ramp is already built. We have to do a bit of work on the top now. First we'll add half walls around the section we just built. This will block the top part of the roof once it's sealed. Also there was an upgrading part that got cut out of my original video by accident. I didn't catch this until someone mentioned that you can go through the roof right into the TC room for 19 rockets. The way to fix this is by upgrading all of the half walls above the core to sheet metal. This one can be left stone since we have a new addition on the base. See it should cost 8 rockets to get into this half height space from all directions. Sheet metal is 8 and 2 stone this way is also 8. This needs to be sheet metal too. The door would be one rocket, so leaving this stone would be only five rockets to get in. Once you make these three adjustments, the base would be 23 rockets to get into the TC room as intended, and still very cheap to build and maintain. Now before I finish this video, I would like to say something. I always welcome criticism for my designs, and I love to hear about the flaws I have made because this helps me get better as a builder. Now that being said, there is no reason to attack me as a person when giving me this info. This will not be tolerated on my channel anymore because I only find it to be harmful to the community. So I'm sorry there were this many mistakes in the original video, that will not happen again. But I do hope these fixes are enough to show you its true strength. So on that note, see ya! By the way, realistically, there are very few people that will actually use 23 rockets to raid such a small base. I mean just ask yourself, would you?